when I work in a project where we use agile methodology or when I'm doing a hybrid project where we use both kinds of methodology, that is to say agile and predictive methodology, I'm working for the requirement part with what we call user stories. Each functionality or each requirement is defined in a user story. The complete set of the user stories are making what we call a user story map. Now, we will need to estimate the difficulty that the development team will have to realize or perform some of those functions. The team will sit together with the Scrum Master, with the product owner that will present each user story, and together they are going to evaluate the complexity or the difficulty that the team will have to perform this function. For this, they are going to use story points. Story points, they do not exist into MS project, so I created an environment that we can add to MS project in which we can find story points and other evaluation or estimation methods. On my right, we can see the sprint board in MS project. We see the different user stories. They are each of those cards that we see, and we see a sprint organization. We are in what we call the sprint planning. You see that there are a lot of those user stories which are defined under the column, which is no sprint. It means that we have defined the user stories, but we haven't planned them. We haven't defined when we are going to handle them. This is what we can call the backlog. Like that, it's a register in which we have all the user stories our application should be able to perform. That is to say, it's the list and description of the requirements. Then I have three sprints, which I'm planning what we are going to do into those sprints. So I have already here, you see, sprint one, which is defined, a few things for the sprint two, and almost the same for the sprint three. In each of those cards, we see different fields that I have added into this MS project file. Behind me, there is the decomposition of a project. This project, you see that we have many user stories. Those different user stories, they are grouped under what we call an epic. An epic contains a lot of user story relative to a same subject. Now the team and the product owner and the Scrum Master, they will review the user stories and they will estimate the difficulty. With this, they will also need to set priorities for example, with the customer, what are they going to provide first? And for this, they will need one way to define the priority. For this, we often use what is called the business value. Of course, we are going to do first what has more value for the business. I have now opened the mind map in which I do the description of the user stories. And you see that we have different fields. We define the value, 
which will define the content, the requirements, if you want, of that user story. And what interests me is what I see below, which are priority and estimation. It's those fields that I have recreated in MS Project. With Agile methodologies, there are different ways to do the estimation. The one I'm using is the story points. And in that one, we use the Fibonacci cell. What we are going to do is to find a reference story. What we try to find is the simplest story the simplest user story we can and we are going to give it a value of one point and then we will be able to compare other stories to that first reference user story and then of course according to this we can relatively to that give some other points there are, of course, other methods that exist. The one about the sizing, which I'm hiding a bit, it's t-shirt sizing is in the small s, m, or l, or even xl. And there are ideal hours, meaning that this is a method in which you still calculate the work, the quantity of work, by sinking of somebody that is just focused on this work is not distracted by anything else and it's what we call ideal hours so what i did i implemented those fields to give you the possibility to work with story points with sizes i have advanced into the project and I have here a user story, which is user registration. In this application, we need to register the users. And we see that on the card here, I have defined story points, I have a business value, and I have a business priority. Now, if I double click on this card, it will open directly into the custom field here and you see that we have different fields that I have added. If I go in general, you will recognize a general task like it's defined in MS Project. So into the custom field, what interests me first here is the story points. You see that this is a story that we have defined as having three points. If I come here on the value, you will see that I have here the Fibonacci series. I have limited it to 13 in the sense that if the team thinks that the story we are currently estimating is going beyond 13, then it's the sign that we should split that user story in several smaller user stories. So this is for the story points. I have below what I call the sizes or story size here that is defined. And you will see I'm going from XS as a size through ML, XL and even XXL, which if you would need a triple XL, it's also the sign that maybe your story is too big and yes, you should split this in several other user stories. So these are the two main fields you see with predefined values. Here below are some curiosities. Uh, it's called, and I call this, work story point and work story size. What does it mean? The team has evaluated everything with story points, but there is still somebody that is asking, how long are you going to take to be able to do all those functionalities? 
So this is one way to help to find out uh, how long it will take. But be aware that each team has its velocity or speed of work and it's through its own way to set the story points. So you cannot compare what one team does with what another team does in terms of story points. All this is just relative to one team that performed the work. I have two other fields that I added also. One is easy to understand is the priority in which priority or business priority should we perform the functionality and the other one is the business value those two combined together will finally give the real user story priorities and help to sort out the backlog in which order to do the things the business value in itself is a topic that is quite big and quite complex and I will handle this in a separate video. I will now plan this user story and set it into the sprint number three. With this you, you see that this doesn't have any influence on the way Microsoft Project is working those fields are standing there they are quiet they are just waiting your values i'm going to switch to another view which is the task board sheet in this table view we see that we see in which sprint is defined the user story when it's no sprint it means that it is into the backlog now I have also here a board status that would say that is, for example, for user story, it's the next step, it's the next that we are going to deal with. It might be in progress, it means the team is working on it, or it's done, it was done by the team. With that, the column that really interests me uh, is the story points that you see here. Whenever you create a new story, it will come with the story points value of one. It's the default value that I have here inside, and you can here change it easily and add the one that the team has decided. After that, you see in this column, I've done a few that you have an example of the story sizes that come here into this column and here um, the column in the middle it's the bit that uh, strange things it's that conversion from story point to uh, ideal days or ideal hours whenever a team needs this it's here you can use it you just need to adapt it and with that, we see that there is a column here if you have on a user story a certain milestone that you really need to put a date on it, you can do that here with a deadline. And after that, we have the two columns. One is the business priority and the business value. Those are the topic that I will use or extend or explain in a different video. With that, you know now how you can easily, while you are working with your team and doing those estimations, you can really here key in the values and they will go directly into the right cards. So now there is already something interesting that we can do. It's to go here into the reports and look at the task board and the board status that is here. And we see that we have already a lot of tasks that are defined or let's say user stories. And we see, according to the board status here, a list of all the ones that are not started or that are the next up. So this is our current backlog. With this, we haven't really used uh, any of the function we created. 
But that, I will now go into reports here. And there is another report that I call Vision 6D Story Point. It's to show you a usage that we can already do with the Story Points. It's here we have down all the different tasks that we have within a certain sprint. So tasks are recognized by their ID here, and you see the story point value that those uh, user stories have. What is interesting is the last number, the 36, it means that we have achieved into this uh, sprint 36 story points. This is what we call the velocity. This is what is planned as velocity for this specific team. So now we have the tools we are ready to manage agile projects or hybrid projects.